Hi, welcome to our second video about our project, BBD and Bobby Debu, a magic acceleration of embody simulation. In this video, we'll show you why we decided to use FPGA, Field Programmable Gate Arrays. To remind you about our project, embody simulation is the evolution of a system composed of embodies, which interact among each other due to an attractive force. By computing each force, we can update the planet's positions. Our algorithm is divided in two main parts. Since the first part, the forces computation, has a high complexity, we decided to put it on an FPGA in order to accelerate it. The possible platforms which we could use are ASICs, CPUs, GPUs and FPGAs. So, which one do we choose? The first parameter to be considered is performance, in terms of giga floating point operation per second or in terms of mega pairs per second, where pairs are the number of comparisons between two objects. The second parameter is power consumption, in terms of floating point operations per second per watt and in terms of mega pairs per second per watt. It can be seen that ASICs perform really well even for power consumption. Of course, we also have to consider the cost of a single board. ASICs are really expensive with respect to the other platforms, where CPUs are the cheapest one. The last parameter to be considered is flexibility. CPUs, GPUs and FPGAs are reconfigurable and reprogrammable. Moreover, FPGAs allow us to build a specific architecture given a specific algorithm. For these reasons, by considering performance, power consumption and flexibility of FPGAs, our choice is an FPGA-based implementation. Thank you for your attention and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Slideshare.